Russell. I'm Katie J. I'm Katie J and I'm here with Jane McCarry from Still Game and we're going to do a very serious interview. The first person to laugh loses. Game on. Ooh. Who do you think would win between you and me in a fight? 100% me. I'm double your age for a start. Like you on your bus. <laughs> Really? On the top? All right, if you grab the star. I'm attached. Oh my god. This is how I die. Have you got them? We are here at Transmit. The sun is out and everyone is having an incredible time. Let's see if we can get the crowd pumped with a bit of a sing song. I think you could have written a song that was like. A crying all night breakup exactly. song. I mean, that's how I was feeling, to be honest. When when I went through that experience, and then I was like, no, you know what? I need to write a song about where I'm gonna be in six months to sort of help me get there, because I know I'm gonna be that person that's gonna see his number come off my phone. I'm gonna be like, who? What? Why are you calling me? And Hi, Wallace. This is Trish sending you love from Hong Kong. I don't have any Scottish in me, but I sure would like some. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Appreciate ooh. the distance. Yes. Good. Yeah, the distance is good. Does it make you feel safe that she's far away? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think you know, I think that's the main thing to take from that. If she said like Paisley or something, I think I'm like, right. Yeah. Mm. Restraining order. <laughs> yeah. We're thinking. No, now hang on a second. How do I oh my gosh, it's come off. People when they look at you on the street and they just go like this, they're like <laughs> But they don't know it's you and they don't know why they recognise you, so they're just kinda of scowling at you in the street like Everybody's giving me the side eye, what is going on? I'm driving about for a day and a half with a properly made registration plate that said ball bank and that was perpetrated by Paul Riley, Jimmy Carey as I'd parked my car on when I realised that it right outside uh, like a motor shop and they'd went in and said could you do it we can do that for you is that, is that a good thing to be a ball bag people must have been thinking but it's not and you're just blasting the tunes yeah, I'm blasting the having tunes having a good time I was ball bagged with my nut <laughs> Going through menopause at 22 is the most bizarre thing in the world. But I'm having a hot flash. What would you say to anybody listening right now to convince them to yeah, put their hand in their pocket and donate some money? If you are going to go and have a coffee, just think that somebody who's just lost their child, you could be changing their future. In Scotland, women between the ages of 25 and 64 will be invited for their smear tests every three years. This year, the number of women turning out for their smear test has dropped considerably across the UK. So what's putting us off getting tested? Hi, good afternoon, Nimika. No matter what good, bad and indifferent you get a leg, it really isn't bad at all. Come in, have your smear, please. Okay, so I've just had my smear. It took literally two minutes. It was completely painless. And if I can do it, anyone can. When that letter comes through, don't ignore it. Does it bother you? Oh, no. <laughs> this, this is actually going to be serious, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's all been serious. Okay, so uh, of course. Yeah. Does it displease you that people think you're more attractive as Isa? <laughs> no, I <I'm> do <laughs> I think Isa, I think any pensioner <laughs> would be proud to pump Isa. So... <laughs> Following my diagnosis in April this year, it's been a bit of a turbulent journey to get here, but I am so thrilled that people are finally listening to us and our cause. What started as unquestioned monthly trauma became a sort of lingering ache, a pain which caused me to regularly lose consciousness and wake up in A&E waiting rooms demanding morphine. I was told this is normal. Every woman experiences this. It'll get better if you have a baby, despite being 16 at the time. Just kind of why is it that 20% of the public have still never even heard the word endometriosis when our numbers equal a tenth of women? A condition that could and might be affecting mothers, aunties, sisters, friends, trans men, non-binary people. For us today, it has to be about getting practical. Sean from GTG. Sean, tell us a little bit about the apprenticeships and your role. Um, my role here at GTG is a senior instructor. 
and I help the guys get through their three-year apprenticeship, train them on technical aspects of the job and also support them through the three years as well. Can you explain what, what you've got here? Yeah, this is a sample of the tests that the apprentices actually sit before they actually come in to do the apprenticeships. And then those are the skills that we build on throughout? Yep, yep, this is just again a sample core set of skills that we have and then we obviously elaborate on them through the three years. I think it's 60 seconds, isn't it? So it's not a long a time. It's, I know, 60 seconds is a minute. Mm. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what, it's too early for me, man. Like, uh, you need me straight to the point. Yeah, Anthony spoke about Willy mm -hmm. Wonka, didn't he? Yeah, chocolate. yeah, that was good. I spoke about Harry Potter, you dance, mm -hmm. so I think it's just I like. I a, a quirk. I have a Blue Peter badge. I think that's very impressive. Wear, wear your Blue Peter badge. Wow. Wear my Blue Peter badge. Got, I? Yeah, I do, I've got two. That is a, that is a goal. It. For sale. My stock. Capital. Capital. Capital.